Hello. Monday evening. I think it's June 14th. Up at my uh, camper in Nickerson. Let's see. That's my new neighbor off the east side of my wood pile. Just got back from happy hour the Nickerson Bar, a pair of uh, Windsor Sours, since I needed to uh, start some charcoal for making my bratwurst, I opted not to have a third happy hour cocktail, even though I still had music going in the jukebox. So, um, yeah, it's the middle of June. We've got uh, summer solstice sneaking up on us. Repositioning here a little bit. So the direction my front of my trailer points is southwesterly. So the sun is coming in from the right of the camera frame here a little bit. You can see my uh, my right Obi electric lawnmower, which I bought off a of Craigslist used from some Minnesota outlet depot or something like that in Burnsville, Highway 13 and County Road. No, Highway 13 and Interstate 35 West, I guess. But uh, yeah, that was 110 bucks, came with a battery and a charger, which between those two things are just worth 50 bucks. So the beauty of it is It just runs off a single battery, which uh, I've already got a half dozen of. So the complaint on uh, reviews was, oh, it only the battery only lasts six minutes. To which my answer is, so what? If you own five batteries, that's a half hour. So I have a green solution for taking care of my lawn fold down the handle, put it in the back of my truck. I'm angling for a uh, slightly different view of my uh, campground here. So I'm about 30 feet back from the loop road. The front third of my trailer is where the the queen bed is and uh, closets on the left and the right side and then um, I do I do like this uh, two-door floor plan the middle of this floor plan is where the bathroom with the shower is and then the back third this side, basically on the other side of that window by the door, that's my uh, kitchen, sink, three burner, gas stove top, small oven, and then my refrigerator. In the very back of the camper is a uh, sleep sofa that folds out. And then on the other side of this is a slide out that you don't see that uh, is a dinette that when converted into a, um, a bed actually is about six foot five 
length and since I'm 6'3", that dinette is a pretty nice uh, sleeping spot. So, um, I should take a peek at my charcoal. I'm not in any hurry. That will, in 20 to 30 minutes, be a completely properly lit pile of charcoal for my three, uh, um, one third ish pound bratwurst. So I'm not in any hurry. But um, let's see, I got six minutes of video and uh, spying the the end of my uh, rear end of my trailer and found my beer. So my cool can cooler says the one the one stick person says to the other stick person I've got your back. <laughs> yeah, it's funny to some, obviously not to others, but who's Keeping score. So, I'm thinking, yeah, this is my 10th month here. I did let my landlords know that I want to renew my lease on August 15th. And I said, if there's a price increase, let me know. But I uh, do fully intend to do a second year here. For the most part, been very happy with uh, this smallish 20 unit campground. So, um, I think uh, the one last piece that I'll uh, mention here this is my other neighbor with a very nice park model. Um, I don't see her outside much, I think she's 80 something years old but um the landlords have said that she's a very nice uh, obviously retired person but my uh mission today that uh, i did some driving around and what i accomplished today was finding the three different carlton county approved location to uh, go into gravel pits to look for agates. So there's a uh, release form that you need to fill out online that once you go into a gravel pit, if you injure yourself, it's your problem. Which, um, yeah, <laughs> I've got no problem with myself. So there were three different uh, gravel pits uh, I think the closest one is 15 minutes away and from there that location another five minutes north is a second location and then going back to the fine city of Moose Lake about five minutes south of Moose Lake on Highway 61 near the Moose Lake Airport is where the third of the three um, agate locations are. So I uh, wanted to get that scouting done. So basically one month from now, um, it's the Moose Lake Agate Festival. And of all the times in this summer to pick out to have my daughter Rachel come up here for the first time to see dad's camper and experience the the Duquette, Nickerson, Bruno, Moose Lake, the my up north experience. Um, I'm having her uh, join me for a weekend of the Agate Festival. So besides the Agate Festival, we'll be, we'll be walking through some uh, gravel pits looking uh, to find, uh, see if we can find some agates ourselves. So. But um, I've just hit the 10 minute mark. 
that was kind of my goal for this uh, video. I'm going to uh, set my beer down and sign off. So, um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful time up north. Hot, hot, hot in the cities. 98 when I drove up here at home. And then last night it was 48 degrees. And this morning I turned on the furnace for a half hour to warm up the inside of my camper to 68 degrees. So anyhow, um, signing off to all my Facebook uh, friends. And I will catch up with everybody later.